So joining me here now in Mission Control, one of our current NASA flight directors, Mike Lammers. Mike, thanks for joining me real quick. And You're welcome. You worked first element launch, so you've been you've been here longer than me. I'm jealous that you were there, you know, when everything started. What were you doing back in 1998 for the program? Uh, back in 1998, I actually worked in the uh, the training division, as mm -hmm. it was called at the time, which was uh, part of you know mission operations that handles all the flight control and and training for the crews. And uh, I uh, was heavily involved in uh, developing. Um, uh, some of the early simulators for the space station and getting those to work with the space shuttle simulators. Mm -hmm. And I was on the team that was um, training the uh, crew of STS-88, which is the, the shuttle mission that, that delivered Node 1 that was the first uh, U.S. element attached uh, to the FGV, the uh, mm -hmm. first element launched uh, fa fairly shortly after uh, first element launch. So, uh, you know, there, that mission and first element launch were really um, tied at the hip Mm -hmm. um, obviously, first element was where we did a lot of uh, the initial um, integration um, with the with the Russians on on hardware. We're going to join jointly operate. Obviously, we had been uh, gotten a lot of really valuable experience with Phase One and Mir, but mm -hmm. uh, but really, uh, first element launch was was um, where we were going to actually uh, work together and jointly in in operating a vehicle. Um, it was really uh, interesting to work on. I think. When mm -hmm. we, we started, there was so much that we didn't know, even though uh, First Element gave us a lot of um, experience. You know, we were still um, kind of uh, in a monitor mode um, mm -hmm. uh, with, with Mir as far as uh, what we do, which was systems. Obviously, we had crew members on board uh, doing, doing work, and we mm -hmm. were uh, taking care of them both from Houston and Moscow. But uh, it, was, uh, it was really pretty special because we had spent... Uh, I'd been here for two or three years um, before that, but there had been a number of people working at Space Station. Uh, really, in fact, I think my manager had been working it since the 80s. Oh, wow. Um, and uh, and uh, to finally get to the point where where we were going to launch was uh, was was pretty special after uh, after a lot of uh, waiting and a lot of a lot of really um, hard work. Um, so we all I remember in particular what I was doing is I came in and I think I I watched it from one of the back rooms in Mission Control and. Mm -hmm. And we sat around and we watched the launch, and uh, we we hung around for a, f a few ground passes afterwards, and it was um, it was really pretty special to do. Uh, I'd imagine it'd be really exciting, you know, because uh, I've heard it described. You know, it was the start. You knew there was going to be a lot of really hard work in the years to come, but it was really good to you know get things started. Yeah, and you know, one of the interesting things about working, you know, not just for NASA but anyone that deals with um, launches mm -hmm. is. Uh, there is, you know, all this work that you do, it, it's pretty unique where you come up to one kind of moment of about 10 minutes where... And where it's, it's over so quick. Yeah, yeah. Where, where everything is kind of focused on that moment. And, uh, and then 10 minutes later, um, there you are. And, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, now we've got we've to gotta, gotta actually operate this yeah. thing. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, and... I mean, you guys have been operating it for the last 15 years. Tell me a little bit. I mean, how how is how has it been to watch this whole program evolve and see see how far it's come in the last 15 uh, years? It's you know, it's been pretty amazing. Just when you look back at um, how much we've learned mm -hmm. on on operating in space. Of course, it's not quite 15 years, but pretty close since uh, that we've had a permanent occupation of space station. Yep. I mean, there's, you know, teenagers alive today that don't remember a time where there weren't Americans uh, orbiting the Earth, which is which is pretty unique. Um, we have gotten, I, I remember uh, back when I was younger when we'd watch um, uh, space shuttle missions, mm -hmm. and this is during the early 80s where, uh, you know, we'd do spacewalks that essentially put a couple of pieces of metal together. Yeah. Um, that was just, a, you know, a precursor for what we were doing on space station, and now we've gotten to the point on space station that we do um, just amazingly complex activities, and they're almost—I uh, won't say that they're routine, but but but, but they're very um, they're very uh, uh, not routine, but they're they're mm -hmm. something that we've done and we've got a lot of experience with. We can do with confidence. Like yeah. uh, you know, last year, I ran a, a spacewalk, and you know I remember watching it. it you know where you see the crew going on. One of the first things that we got to do when we send the crew out the door is, uh, at the time it was a, uh, um, Sonny Williams was mm -hmm. was the EV crew member. She actually had to go hand over hand, um, almost a good chunk the length of a football field to get <laughs> out to the end of the truss. And just to think that one of the 
one of the challenges that we have when we do spacewalks is how far the crew actually needs to translate outside just to get to the work site. I mean, yeah, you, whoever would have thought yeah. that our spaceship is too big. Yeah, I mean, know? it's 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 massive. Yeah. And uh, just, uh, you know, the amount of focus that we had on First Element and the uh, FGB, which, you know, comparatively, it's a mm -hmm. simple vehicle um, compared to a lot of the other things like the service module and, mm -hmm. and some of the vehicles that we send up in the U.S. lab. Uh, it's really amazing that we've, uh, we've, we've built this machine and, 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 you know, to this day we're still learning a great deal about the machine itself and running it and also keeping people on it full time. And, I mean, excited about what's to come still? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, the neat thing about working on the space station mm -hmm. is uh, it's never quite the same, yeah. right? Every year we do something different, something big that's different. Um, just recently I worked uh, in the last few months as uh, Cygnus, which was the mm -hmm. uh, commercial cargo mission that... Uh, that um, orbital launched and uh, you know that was a whole new learning curve another yeah. vehicle to learn another set of people to work with and um, you know we had that that was just this month next next year I'm sure there's going to be some more we've certainly got some new um, um, uh, elements in the in the pipeline that are on the drawing board the Russians have a number that they're gonna they're gonna mm -hmm. put up in the next few years and uh, you know the space station of uh, you know, five years from now is is going to look different in ways than the ones that uh, today does, and probably in ways that we uh, we haven't quite yet anticipated. Well, yeah, never a dull day. No. All right. Well, again, International Space Station, 15 years and going strong, and a lot more to come. Um, get Mike Lammers, NASA Flight Director. Thanks so much for being here, Mike. You're welcome. Congratulations on all your work uh, yeah. throughout throughout. Thank you. Thanks.